Hello. Welcome for another installment of Storytime with Dick Bodie. Say, um, first of all, I want to wish everybody a um, belated Merry Christmas. Hope everybody had a good holiday and hope everybody has a wonderful 2010. Um, thank you for all your subscriptions and all your comments. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoy reading them and I really appreciate it. Um, I've got a, just a couple quick stories to tell you. Um, I think you guys would enjoy the first one being, um, you know, a couple weeks ago, Nancy and I, um, that's Rocco and Dominic's mom, for those of you, um, went to Las Vegas and we happened to have dinner at the, uh, uh, Cheesecake Factory at Caesar's Palace. And it reminded me of a story about, I'd say probably about five years ago, um, when we were there with Rocco and Dominic. And the situation was that you know, we were sitting out front, if anybody knows that or has been there, uh, you could sit in the back, then you could sit in the front, and there's railings, you know, that separates you from, you know, the outside, but nonetheless, um, you know, it was a very busy night, and people were, um, you know, waiting for a table and whatnot, and we happened to get a table that was out front, and it was against the railing. Um, there again, it separated, you know, the tables from everyone else and people would be wait, waiting for their table and they would be you know leaning against the railing or sitting on the railing and their butts would be up against our table or hanging over our table you know and, and Dominic had the uh, I don't want to say raw end of the deal but his uh, you know his seat was right there so you know, these people are hanging their ass over his meal, you know, and it's like, excuse me, can, can you move your ass away from my son's dinner, please? Um, so what Dominic cleverly did was uh, slathered butter all over the railing. And uh, this way, when people would go up against the railing, they'd put their hands and go, oh, you know, and get really grossed out. Or if they didn't realize it, uh, they would slide across the railing and get a huge amount of butter caked into their ass and into their somewhat expensive clothing. Um, you'd see these people <laughs> walk away with this, like, pinstripe, you know, uh, horizontal pinstripe across their ass, you know. So, anyway, uh, Dominic has a wicked sense of humor, and uh, we just encourage it, you know. You don't want to stifle those kind of things. Anyway, so that was that. Um, next story is that... When I was in sixth grade, I was, you know, it was around 1967, um, a movie called To Sir With Love was released. It was with Sidney Poitier, and it was about a uh, school in London um, that uh, had this teacher that was from South Africa, and it was a very racially charged time and a uh, very rough school. So it was really the story of how this uh, black teacher adapts and uh, kind of changes these kids um, and develops these kids who were really bad kids. Um, very British movie. Uh, Lulu, I don't know if anybody knows who Lulu is, but she's the one who sang the song, To Sir With Love. And she was in it along with a couple of other people um, that ended up being rock stars. So anyway, that's that. So it's really one of my favorite movies, and I haven't seen it in a long, long time. Um, and I've never seen it on DVD. And about seven months ago, they released a whole bunch of Sidney Poitier movies on DVD in box sets and in separately. And lo and behold, To Sir With Love has never been part of it. So I went on Amazon just by chance to see, well, maybe it was released. I just never saw it. Well, it turns out it was released about seven or maybe six or seven years ago, but it was pulled. I guess, from the studio because it was discontinued. Um, Amazon w was no longer selling them, but you could buy them on Amazon, you know, from collect from collectors. And they were running like $50, $70, $80, $150. Or not $100, I'm sorry, $120 for a copy of To Serve With Love on DVD. So with that, that kind of killed that idea. So that was that. Um, about a month later, I'm having dinner with a buddy of mine, and he says, hey, you know, do you mind if we go to Big Lots, uh, you know, a, 
I like to look, at, you know, at some of the crap that they have. And I said, oh, let's go, you know. So they have this huge pallet there at Big Lots full of DVDs for $3. $3 to serve with love. Okay. Now, I was so excited. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, and, and there's like 10 of them, you know, it's like, great, to serve with love. So I grab one, you know, and, you know, head, you know, put in the shopping cart and go bopping along, you know, and all of a sudden I'm like, OMG. You know, I'm going to buy all 10 of them. eBay, Amazon, you know, here's money. I'm seeing dollar signs. So anyway, um, that night I came home. I put three of them on eBay. No, I put three of them on Amazon at $55 a piece. And that was around midnight. And the next morning I got up about 8 o'clock. And they were all sold. Someone bought all three of them. In fact, the same person. So I made, you know what, about 160, 165 bucks in less than 12 hours. You know, just boom. Um, then I put a couple on eBay, you know, I wasn't putting them all, you know, you know, at the same time, because then that kind of dilutes it. But, you know, I put a couple on eBay and I sold those for, for 45 and for one for 55. Um, then I started to put a couple more and all of a sudden it was like, you know, I, you know, I'd post them for 14 bucks a piece. Nothing. You know, I ended up selling one for 14 bucks. And I couldn't understand it. And then I realized, you know, it's like, wow, you know, everyone's buying them at Big Lots now. And so, you know, they're not so valuable anymore. So I did manage to sell all of them. Um, eventually I sold, I sold that one for 14, but then I sold a couple more on Amazon for 35 and 40. So I ended up making about 300 bucks off the whole batch. But anyway, I wanted to tell you my dilemma is you know I've had this for six months and I don't I I still haven't opened it what do I do if I open it I just I bought one for sixty dollars you know what I'm saying because I could sell this once I open it it's no longer new so I still haven't seen to sir with love and like I said, if I open it, then I've paid however much, 50 bucks, 60 bucks for it. What would you do? Get back to me. Peace. Good night.